Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about LIFO. So let's start. LIFO. LIFO stands for last in first out. The thing that comes last will go out first. Your input one element and when you request an element, the last one that is entered will be given to you. So the first element that we feed into it will be given first. So when we request an element, the last one that we have feed into it will be given first. So now let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will use LIFO functional block. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection and write protection inactive and click on apply. And then I will go to configuration tab where I will configure my logic controller. So for example, I am using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here and then I will click on yes. So in this way, I have selected the logic controller I am using. So then. I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram and using and use functional block LIFO. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert three normally open contacts here. And then I will assign address to these as I 0.0, .0 then I 0.1, then I 0.2 and then I'm going to insert the functional block here LIFO I will change it to LIFO last in first out and then apply and then I will insert coils here and I will assign address to it as Q 0.0 and Q 0.1 so the ladder logic is ready and then I will zoom out and go to commissioning and launch simulator. After launching the simulator, I will start controller and click on OK. And then back to programming and then I will zoom out like this. So here R means reset, I means storage and O means retrieval. That is I is used to store the elements, store the input elements and O that is O is connected to I0.0. .0, so it is used to retrieve what we have feed into it. So it will give the last element that we will uh, give it to uh, give to it uh, using I0.1. So we will uh, give feed to this. We will feed some elements. So we will go to uh, tools. And then animation tables, I will right click on it and then add new animation table. So here I need to write the same address that is R0. I will write person R0. Then to feed, I will use dot I. Dot I for input. And for retrieval, I will use, I will use R0.I. Sorry, 0 0.0. And then for storage, for feeding the elements, I will uh, click here and feed the first element that is 10, enter and then I need to toggle I0.1 that is connected to I that is storage. So I, I am storing these elements. The first element I am storing into it will be 10 and this 10 will be given out at last. So I will store it by toggling I0.1. I will turn it on and then turn off. And then I will feed the second one. I will store the second element that is 20, enter and then again toggle I0.1 on and then off. So this will be, so this 20 will be given out at second last place. And then I will feed one more element 30, enter and then I0.1 on and then off. 
and then one more element 40 enter and then i0.1 on and then off i am storing these uh, these elements using i0.1 this i0.1 is connected to i that is the storage i am storing these uh, values using i0.1 then i will uh, insert one more element that is 50 enter and then click on uh, turn i0.1 on and then off and then for retrieval for output the last one 50 will be given first that is the use of lifo last in last is this 50 and this 50 will be given out first so we will retrieve all these elements using i0.2 so when i click it first when i turn it on the first element will be given that element that we have feed it into it at last place that is 50 so it will give us 50 first so when i turn on i0.2 it gives us the last element here that is 50 and then i will turn off and then again turn on it will give 40 that we have feed it into it at second last place and then i will turn off and then again turn on so it will give 30 and then I will turn off and again turn on it will give 20 and the element which we have stored into it at first place will be given at last so this is last in first out and first in last out so 10 was given at first but it will give 10 at last so when I turn off and then turn on it will give 10 that this 10 was feed it into it at the first place but it gives it at last so this is the use of lifo so then i will turn off and then if i so here i can reset it all so using i0.0 so when i turn on i0.0 all the data that i have stored using i0.1 and the day and that uh, element that is showing using i0.2 the retrieval then will be reset so when i turn on i0.0 all gets reset so we need to add elements once again so this was a use of lifo thank you for watching